Fired. I'll recognize myself for five minutes. Um, there's a story from Facebook, I mean, about Facebook on Fox News, where they list a number of things, like uh, Lauren Southern was suspended because of criticizing censorship, gives a specific example of that. Um, the administration of a pro-Trump group was banned for saying Trump is not anti-Muslim, but he is anti-ISIS. Uh, Facebook locked the kids out that posted videos uh, supporting Rudy Giuliani's criticisms of Obama, calling it suspicious activity. Facebook approved Christian hate groups, and I'm not gonna even mention the names, they're so vile, um, coming after Christians. Uh, but shut down Christian groups uh, quite often, and that examples are given like Kirk Cameron's movie, Unstoppable. Um, Christopher Campbell was blocked for 30 days for expressing his opinion about attacks in Cologne, Germany, and the right to bear arms. Um, Canadians censored, were censored for criticizing Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's response to refugee shootings. I mean, there's lots of examples. And if you could indulge me, Mr. Zalka, Mr. Walden, and Mr. Shavarn, if you would look over to your right at these two ladies. I, I just, well, obviously, Mr. Walden doesn't like to, well, thank you. But anyway, I just wanted you to see evidence of improper censorship. They are walking evidence of, in, of Facebook censorship. Um, I know you say there's not any evidence, but um, uh, there is. And it's been given here today. It will continue to surface in the future. And I would like to also point out it just an observation I've had. Um, Alan Keyes, uh, Clarence Thomas, they're, they're heroes of mine. And they can let you know that nobody, and Golden Silk can, can uh, substantiate it, I don't think there's anybody in America that suffers more vile reproach and bigotry than black conservatives. And if you throw Christianity on top of black and conservative, it, you're just at the bottom of the pile. Alan Keyes has certainly experienced that. Clarence Thomas has it well. Uh, I did want to ask um, Ms. Hardaway, Ms. Richardson, you paid Facebook for your post to be boosted on their platform, correct? Sometimes we do but you had an agreement for content promotion with Facebook. Um, wasn't there an example where you paid them to boost your platform and it was not boosted? Well, we paid them to boost our platform, but it didn't reach. And the reason why it didn't reach is because they have labeled accounts as very liberal that's not very liberal. So of course your stuff is not going to reach. And they also place limit on our page. They have a red, a little red sign there on the top of our Facebook page that st stated that it was limited. Mm -hmm. Right, they did that. And, and I just need to clarify something because I don't mm -hmm. like to be called a liar. Facebook did not reach out to us until via Twitter on April the 12th. Mm -hmm. The last time we heard from Facebook was on April the, the yeah. 5th, when they deemed us unsafe to the community. Well, when, they, when, you, when the Twitter was posted, was that posted only to you, where only you could see it? Well, or was we, that we, we have a verified account, so when right. we went into our verifies, that's when we saw it. And we was very transparent because we put it out yeah, there but online could other people for everybody. See that? Could yeah, other, yes. So it wasn't just a communication to you, it was communication to the world. It was on you were not right. singled out. They and didn't we, specifically communicate to you. No, they, it was no They put something out to the world to make it look like they were Absolutely. That's they had right. got caught in the hot seat. Mark Zuckerberg had lied. Maybe he got it from his PR people, we don't know. They was never in direct communication with no. us, and I well, need to clarify that. Let me just that. point out, you know, FedEx, UPS, they hold themselves out as getting your package where you want it to go. Mm -hmm. But suppose they started saying, you know what, if you're conservative, uh, if, if it's a conservative destination, we're not gonna deliver it. I mean, it seems like Facebook, YouTube, some of these are holding themselves out to be a public uh, platform and be a public square when actually they censor, they set up algorithms to determine yeah. who gets more. I mean, it would be like saying you have a public square, but we're gonna put you on the public square in a soundproof booth. So 
in my last 10 seconds, let me just say, I'm not for more government regulation, but I do think since they are deciding what goes on and what gets censored, they should be liable, and I'm working on laws to make that happen. Love it. Thank you. And with that, would um, recognize...